ladies, it's nice to be back. I feel like I've been away forever. Oh, I'm you just, have. Well, I'm just I wondering, have. how do you know Italians do it better? Well, I've just been in Italy. Oh. Oh. You've been auditions, didn't you? Yes, <laughs> I've just been to one of my best friend's weddings. It was amazing. Aww. And I promised him uh, and her, the bride and groom, and she's, she's my, the, the reason I know them, but he is um, a lifelong Loose Women fan. And yeah. my wedding gift to him is that I will um, show their wedding photos. So this is Mr. and Mrs. Bell. There they are, the bride and groom, Aww. with some of our closest friends. And Andy uh, is, is the only man in the shot there. You can, you can spot him. Shiara is his lovely uh, wife. Are you the one in red? I'm the one in red the with the big glass of yeah. wine. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and, and it was a very big day. Um, it was beautiful, 80 of us. And, and lots of um, benchmarks were passed. I've realised that... Actually, you know, for uh, all the time I've been sat on this panel, I've been saying I can't drink, it's like a poison in my system, I'm rubbish at it. I'm not, I'm brilliant. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding a bike! Okay, <laughs> it was quite a rock and roll wedding, it wasn't just an average... No, Joe, well, Andy, Andy is a member of Oasis, or so. what were Oasis, and which is now um, a new band called yeah. EDI. So, yes, and um, which, is, which is why it's so funny that he loves the show. <laughs> <laughs> but he does. So, yes, it was a very rock and roll wedding, so I couldn't go there and be my meek and mild self. I yeah. thought, I've got to throw myself into the spirit of it. <laughs> well, I was, I was on the dance floor. I was shaking all of my bums. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you realise, oh, support but, pants okay. would have been a good idea. I'm to thank you because you've brought the hot weather back. I because know. it's... Come on! Yeah. And I, want to tell you, I want to tell you how I really know it's summer because this morning I saw a squirrel not eating his nuts, <laughs> no, eating an ice cream. <laughs> look, look. Can you see him? He's got a cornetto in his hand. I took that photograph. I said, just stay there a minute, squirrel. <laughs> Do you know what? Most squirrels would run uh, when you get that close, but you have this amazing affinity no, with No, I am Mrs. Rats Doolittle. Yes. <laughs> and I just hang on, he went, OK. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> This was in the middle of a meeting, by the way. We're all trying to have yeah. a sensible meeting to sort the show out, and she's just watching the squirrel oh, with the no, cornet. No. Yes, one cornet. <laughs> See, there's somebody attacking me. Okay. Uh, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, headlines today suggest that if you're trying to impress a man, girls, then steer well clear of any trendy items. Apparently, nine of the season's most popular garments are a total turn-off for men. Amongst the fashions men love to hate are Ugg boots, gladiator sandals, and those harem pants, you know, like MC oh. Hammer pants. Oh. I'm with them on that. Oh, awful. So, ladies, <laughs> what fashion crimes have frightened off men in your lives? Oh. And, and are you a serial offender? Well, you know, I can understand them not liking those. I mean, those harem pants, it looks like you've cacked oh, yourself. Oh, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh, I mean, they're odd boots. They're not beautiful, <laughs> are they? I mean, but... Well, they're not. <laughs> I wouldn't wear those harem pants. But I used to wear, I have to say, I've scared more men off than you've had hot dinners with what I've worn, especially in the 80s, when it was all fantastic bright colours. But I was a student, I had no money. <coughs> so, you know, I was, I was always dressed in whatever I could find in the Oxfam shop, and it was very mix and match. I used to call me Miss Woolworths, they really did. Uh, yeah, but, we didn't you know, have any cheap shops like they have now. No, well, this no. is it. There weren't. It was just the Oxfam shops. And if you walk down the street with a bloke and you look like a bowl of trifle, they're not going to like it, <laughs> are they, really? <laughs> Which is what I did. But, but I think men are very stereotypical. I think, it, it, most men anyway, they, and that's not counting my husband, but most men, I think they just like the pencil skirts, the high heels, anything that shows the, you know, the, the wobbly jewellery off. You know, that's what they like, except for Peter, who I have to tell you, is a sucker for a cardigan, hence me in the cardigan. <laughs> my husband <laughs> thinks cardies are the sexiest do you, thing. Do you mean, I have a lot do you of mean, cardies. But do you mean cardigans or do you mean twin sets? Oh, no, no, he doesn't like twin sets. Oh, well, I thought maybe, no. you know, you don't know these days. Well, the thing <laughs> is, <laughs> girls, I don't know if you agree with me, I don't always think it has to be a disaster that scares men off. Sometimes I've found if I've gone very va, -va boom in a slinky dress, boobs out, whatever, like it can terrify men. <laughs> it can. And I've spent, you know, a lot of time men being pretty intimidated. Well, I did a documentary for ITV where I gained two stone and I started to wear 
floatier dresses. I was a bit more vulnerable, more grateful. <laughs> <laughs> 6G, but I started to go floatier and tried to hide the belly and the bum. And I have never been chatted up so much really? in my life Amazing. when I was at my yeah. biggest. But that's, but you look that's being feminine, you see. Yeah. I it? also that's think there was a bit yeah. of vulnerability as well. Because that's I, what I mean. Yeah, I was a bit it more is. grateful, a bit more vulnerable. Great. And you start relying on your. <laughs> 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 no, not in a bad way. But do, in, when you say grateful, do you think you were giving off a different aura, a different? Uh, yeah, you, know? you start to rely on other assets when you're not feeling confident in your own body. You know, you start using your humor and stop being a bit more self-deprecating and a little bit more yeah, vulnerable right. and I think men like it do you think that it's an age thing as well because I know that when I was a student and uh, you know we didn't have an awful lot of money to spend on clothes and uh, I used to get my a couple of gay friends that were fashion designers like fashion students mm. so I just used to go to their fashion student kind of fashion shows and buy all their weird creations and then walk around town thinking I was the bees knees I had this all-in-one like loom pants jumpsuit that um, had pampas grasses on it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. And I used to go clubbing it. And I used to remember standing on the dance floor thinking, no one else looks like me. I am you. <laughs> <laughs> and no wonder I was, my love life was like the Gobi Desert. <laughs> I remember, I remember when I was very young, and do you remember when Paisley was in? Some of you are old enough to remember. Yeah. I remember having a suit made. It was Paisley trousers and a Paisley long jacket. I thought I looked fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sweet. Yes. And, 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 ba and basket shoes. They had, I had basket shoes. Basket which, shoes. Yes. I remember they squeaked, didn't they? Yes. My I, dad yes, had those. That's it. Squeaky Thank shoes. You, you have to have basket shoes those. to go with the pampas grass no, dress, dress you? <laughs> but your dad had them worse. <laughs> He used to garden in them. <laughs> <laughs> this is going from bad to bad. Then he took him on holiday and he squeaked all over Mallorca. I, mean, I think <laughs> you're going to just out your father as a cross-dresser, aren't you? No! <laughs> 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 it's it's what men, wear, men want you to wear is different. I mean, I had an ex who liked me, to, who would buy my clothes. So it was kind of a control thing, you know? But he would buy me suits. No. Always buy me men's suits. So it's <laughs> <laughs> His it name is. was Martha. <laughs> <laughs> and it would like be a pinstripe. They were fantastic suits, I have to say. And but I had to be very thin to wear them. Mm -hmm. But and but you know, it depends what they want you to. But you can't do that. You must be you must wear what you want to wear. Never let anybody control what you wear. Well there's, ever. A, thin, there's a thin line, isn't there, between feeling protected by a man's interest yes. and being controlled by them. And you mustn't cross that line. No, no ladies. Never, never. Garrett has spoken. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take our